Hey, how's it going? New episode of Fate Grand Order Babylonia. Um, right. The game did not record the Ziggurat conversation, so I already took care of that. Now we're going to the streets of Uruk. Hello, goddess of the sun. Uh, so we're... Oh, right, Quetzalcoatl is attacking the wall, if I remember right. And uh, looks like we're going to be fighting her, so I'm going to choose an assassin. Uh, yeah. Definitely choosing first Hassan. Oops, that's my Valentine setup. Probably not the best. And... Looks like the other person has a Valentine's card equipped as well, but oh well. That'll probably still help. Get the citizens out of here now. She's coming, she's charging in. Spearmen, form up in three rows. If ten soldiers won't hold back, hold attack with thirty. You're in rear, press forward. We're going to force her back with everything we have. My auto read was on. Ah, we'll put an end to your killing spree right here. And they're charging... dead. In an instant. Hmm, you've got spirit. But this isn't a tag team match, no. I said one at a time, no. Naughty kids who can't wait their turn. Hmm, what to do? I know, I'll juggle you till you cool off. Okay, uno, dos, tres. Impossible, she's tossing the soldiers like they're toys. Oh no, I read that wrong. Oh no, that's too high. She's throwing them too high. They're gonna... No! And splat. Oh my, you're terrible at plancha. And also terrible at landing. You won't be top tier luchadors like that, you know. See, in lucha libre, it is important for both the attacker and defender to nimbly break a fall. You got that, niños? Before you learn any techniques to defeat others, you must learn to protect yourselves. If you can't do that, you're no match for me, no matter how many of you there are. Uh, okay, thought I'd have to... No good. Everyone retreat, retreat. We are no match for her. Wait for the warriors of Chaldea. Until then... Until then... Until then, we'll do as she requests. You said you won't complain if we go up one-on-one, -on -one, yes? Claro. Try to... Pin me for a three count, yes? We have arrived at Uruk Southern Market. As King Gilgamesh ordered, we... Over there, look out! Uh, how unfortunate. You're so tiny. Muy pequeño. Pequeña. What? Well, for some reason, she came diving in spread-eagled. Nope. That was funny. I won't let her. Soldier, get out of here. Hurry. Yeah. There she is. Wow. Que technica. What an amazing aerial attack. I'll give you 40 points, yes? But you stole my opponent. So rude, yes? Uh, I think I keep adding a question mark to that, yes. That match wasn't decided yet, no? Interfering in a luchador match is against the rules. Hmm, so that means... What? Wind coming from below our feet? Ooh, it's lifting us up. Oh my, that face. The penalty will be 100 meter ring out toss. Adios, muchachos. I had no idea she spoke Spanish. What? I'm falling. And crash. Oh. Wait, I'm alive? Anna, nice catch. Anna, nice moves with the chain. Ooh. Anna, nice moves with the chain. Hurry and retreat. We'll take care of the rest. Yeah, thanks. We'll leave it to you, cutie. <laughs> hmm. Is it against the rules for someone to show up and catch a falling luchador? I think it is, but if the audience loves it, I guess it's okay. After all, we don't fight to kill our opponents. We fight to give courage to the people. Anyway, are you my next opponent? Good. You've got some pep. I'll fight each and every one of you till your hearts give out. So that's the Mesoamerican goddess Quetzalcoatl. She scares me. Master, I've never experienced anything like this before. She's laughing like she's having a great time. A laugh with no hatred or animosity. Yet, she isn't hesitating to kill. It's insane. I don't know what to do. Indeed, we've never seen anything like her before. She's killing people? Eh, I'll go with the first one. Indeed, we've never seen anything like her before. Talk later, she's coming. Your enemy is the highest ranking divine spirit there is. A true goddess. She's not like Gorgon, who used the Holy Grail to become a goddess, nor a pseudo-servant like Ishtar. Everyone proceed with the utmost caution. Staying alive is more important than defeating her. 
Ah, we're just fighting here. Okay. 526,950 health. Uh, it's not terrible. It should be manageable. Um, I will start off with the Buster cards. I also did not wail for her. Though I like her and she's strong and all, I just didn't really care to wail for her. I think I got her in the Japanese version once. And one of my- holy crap! That did a lot of damage. Okay, I'm gonna fire off Raku right away. Damn, she's strong. Yeah, I didn't go for her, but now I kinda wish I did. I guess I should technically- I should probably go for her, Drake, or Osmandius for my rider. I can't think of any others that I would rather have. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. And I'll do a full Brave Chain. NP Brave Chain. Oop, shit, she's got some sort of barrier thing. I didn't see what that was. Ugh, I hope it's not nullifying. Or invincibility or whatever. Come on, right to Raiko. Oh wow, it's reducing damage by a lot. Well, shit. I probably should have done something else then. Does it disappear after one hit? Nope. I have to fight her at full health with that barrier on. Oh no. Oh shit, her chainsaw sword. Ay ay ay. I think this is probably a survive as long as you can type. Oh, I gotta click the symbol. Winged Serpent. Nullify damage from good ailment enemies and decrease attack by half for balanced and evil alignment enemies. Nullify damage from good alignment enemies and decrease attack. Damn. That's a deadly ability. So, I guess Raikou is considered bad or evil because she at least did damage. I wonder what Nero counts as. Probably doesn't say right here. Nope. Okay. Well, let's find out who can hit her and who can't. Uh, actually, do it that way. Okay, I should have paid attention on the first swing. Nero. Nero did a lot of damage. So did him. Oh, so does she. So... Why is it the Noble Phantasm didn't do much? I'm so confused. Maybe it only works against Noble Phantasms? I don't know. That's crazy. I also had no idea she spoke Spanish. Or she talked... Yeah, she used Spanish in her... Way of talking, however, whatever I'm trying to say. I don't know. Uh, Shimata. What to do? I guess I should build up Noble Phantasm for anyone. Oh, this is gonna be a rough fight. Oh, damn. I don't know why it worked the last time, but maybe because of the critical stars. But yeah, Nero and Jean, well, Jean, of course, they're considered good ale alignment, so they're not gonna do much damage. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so I at least need to build up Jean's Noble Phantasm. Oh no, I forgot to look at her NP rate, or her charge bar. Well, here comes Shua Kotal. Oh, of course she aims at him. Pterodactyl! Dive bomb! And he's probably dead. Damn it. Yep, he's dead. Oh no, what to do? Maybe this is a you-have-to-lose fight. If so, that would be very nice. But, I bet it's not that way. I wonder what Skahawk's considered. If she's considered good or evil or bad. Or neutral. Zeros? Oh, Skahawk's considered good. Oh, thank god, it was only a six turn fight. Oh, that was rough. She hits like a brick house. Er, yeah, she hits like a brick. 
like a truck. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Yeah! She's gonna be rough to fight later on. Of course, they'll probably take away that ability of hers. Okay. Uh, next story thing. It didn't go right into a story. Uh oh. A question mark. A question mark. Um. If it's a question mark, I think I will go with Gold Saint again. Oh. I use their Hassan. I will go with the ruler, and a fighting ruler at that. That way they can take hits and give them back. Our attacks aren't doing anything. It seems she possesses some kind of special skill. Oh, are you guys servants? Then, is that cutie over there the master from elsewhere? Indeed, that's Bahamut from Chaldea, the last master of humanity. Merlin, stop giving my everything away. I know it's late, but I'd like to confirm. You're Quetzalcoatl from the Three Goddess Alliance. Claro que si. I'm the big sister who came all the way from Mesoamerica to destroy Uruk a little. Yes. Destroy Uruk a little? Why do such a thing? Destroy Uruk a little? Why did you clam up like that? That shouldn't be a difficult question. <laughs> you, Master Charlie, are my type, so I was just a bit surprised, yes? Disciplined, righteous, and earnest, that hits all my buttons. So much so, you deserve a penalty. Oh boy. If Bahamut will marry me, I don't mind being on your side. Oh. Marry? Mash is gonna have some sort of reaction to that. What did you say? <laughs> this is... This goddess is weirder than anything I can imagine. The story is getting complicated now. Hey, no. After all, that would be a bit childish. Goddess-ish, but childish. Now, why destroy Uruk? I'll at least answer that question. It's because we were called over by Mother to kill humans. It is our purpose here and we can't change it, so that's what we'll do. But how do... how I do so is up to me, no? It'd be boring just to drop the sun and burn everything, no? Yes, I want to have fun. I don't want to fight out of hatred, so... I decided that no matter who I'm against, I'll kill them one by one and that's how I'll eradicate humanity, yes. Seriously, in a fist fight, Dios mio, through lucha wrestling. I like that one. Dios mio, through lucha wrestling. I can't even say it now. Damn it. See, si, so I won't use my authority as a goddess because that tires me out. Yes. Objection, great goddess Quetzalcoatl. I'd like to point out that you used your authority in our battle. Yeah, that's cheating. Well, we also brought six servants to fight her. I'm cheating? <laughs> Being scolded by a younger master is, at f is a first. Makes me blush. But you need a trial like this. Just going easy won't help anyone grow. That's how you learn, yes. Humans are like that, yes. Now I'm adding exclamations instead of question marks. But she wants you to find her weakness during the fight. So she wants you to find her weakness during the fight. God, I can't read right now. What's going on? But no matter what we do, that divinity is... Oh, relax. See, I'm going back soon, yes. Damn it, I'm back to question marks. I only fight 100 people a day. Any more than that, and I'll start forgetting my opponents. I wouldn't want to make fighting a chore, no. Death matches should always be the high of highest quality. So, everyone, adios. I'll be back tomorrow at dawn to kill another 100 of you. Nope. Oh, and she flew away. Or jumped away. Quetzalcoatl is disappearing into the jungle, riding a pterosaur that flew by. Are you safe now? No, I see another servant approaching. This, this magical energy. <laughs> Jaguar warrior. Oof, oof, oof. She's cuckoo. Works great. Works Jaguar so hard. Transporting warriors she knocked out. Why is she making her best friend do this? That ludicrous hooded guys. Mystery servant Jaguar warrior. Hey guys, it's been a while, but hold on a sec. I'm working right now. Oh, uh, Jaguar warrior is stacking the fallen soldiers one after another onto a cargo sled. She's going to take them away. Master, we need to stop her. Yeah, stop it right there, Jaguar Warrior. I knew something was pouncing around in the background. Huh, now I kind of wish I'd noticed the background and see if anything was actually pouncing. I knew something was pouncing around in the background. Whoa! Stop and leave the goods? I will not, know. That's not how this world works. Reality is harsh, you know. Cuckoo is ruthless. She never holds back when she punches me. 
So do you really think such a cold-blooded bird would forget to assign bodyguards for a mission this important? Oh, I guess she did. So the forest forens that I cherry-picked will protect me. To me, my great jaguar underlings. Oh boy. Roar! Phew! Look at these sturdy jaguar underlings. Boys and girls, we're not letting you sleep tonight. Well, I'm going home and drinking a tequila sunset while eating crocodile. I'll leave the rest to you guys. <laughs> the jaguar-headed warriors are attacking. Master your orders. Okay, so we are fighting actual jaguars. Uh, let's see. I guess I didn't need to really bring a ruler, but eh, I'm fine with it. It's a uh, Martha ruler, so she'll definitely beat the crap out of them. Oh, that'd be a great person to fight for Quetzalcoatl is have Martha. Actually, I feel like I saw someone upload an image of maybe the story or something where it's actually Ruler Martha versus Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, that would be a good fight to see. Ruler Martha versus Ryder Quetzalcoatl. A goddess versus a saint. That would be a sight to behold. Tarask versus Shuakatol. Or whatever the Santa one uses. Uh oh. Raiko's about to go down. Um. I got three Martha, so I'll just use it on the full health one. Martha's one of the servants I really wanted from the summer event, but I never got her. Instead, I got two Archer Altrias, which I'm not complaining about. But I still would have liked to have her! Oh well. Nah, go with that. Maybe Raikou can hit 200. Nope, nowhere near. Well, 10 away. Not bad. And the final fight is more Jaguars. Stronger ones at that. Um, yeah, I'll just fire off Raikou. At least wound them severely. Seen as she's also about to die. And my master skill. Buff all allies. And. Oh yeah, increase MP gauge and increase attack only when on a field. On, increase attack only when on a field near water. Oh. That's. Huh. I've never seen an ability that's actually terrain based. That's kind of cool. Uh. I should actually study the servants when they actually come out. I might actually learn a thing or two. I'll go with that, I guess. Wound the 110,000 one the most. Good. Now they're all semi close to each other in health. I now have a new goal of collecting all of Raita's uh, servants. I need Summer Raiko, uh, was it Halloween? No, maybe it wasn't a special holiday, I think it was just a random event, but I need a caster shooting doji, and then when she eventually comes out to America, I'll need Murasaki, Shikibu, Shibu, still don't know, I keep seeing Shikibu on line, but that could be wrong. Okay, now we're back to the ziggurat, and I've still got plenty of time. No battles, just dialogue. Hopefully it saves and the game doesn't update, but that's probably because I recorded around 11 that it did that. Okay, hmm, well this is altogether a new problem. To think Quetzalcoatl would come barging in herself. What a nuisance. If she keeps tearing up the city, that'll affect morale on the demon, demonic front. The craftsmen and soldiers have left the southern market. At this rate, the king's little side project will... Side project? King Gilgamesh, what are you making? No, nothing. <sighs> Sidori, must you be such a killjoy? What's the point of making a secret weapon if it's not being kept a secret? Ugh, this is all because of that insane goddess Ishtar. She's one of yours. Make yourself useful. Do something about her. Hey, she's not one of mine. She's from a completely different culture. You think so? We're totally different. There aren't that many muscle-headed goddesses like her. Fo? Fo fo fo. Fo 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 fo. 
Well, there's no denying that. She's a nuisance. Wait, she can understand foe? Like the way she picks fights with humans one by one, she's got a weird idea of eradicating humanity. But I guess she'd call it integrity. Integrity. And if she's coming tomorrow, that means she intends on killing 100 people every day. Yes, exactly 100 soldiers fell victim. The corpses were carried off, so we can't even bury them. Even if we wanted to fight, we're no match for her. We don't have a plan of some sort, Dr. Roman. Don't you have a... Damn it. Eh? You're asking me? You guys have Merlin over there. Use that clairvoyance or whatever and take a peek at what Quetzalcoatl is doing. I'd really like to do that, but I can't overuse my clairvoyance. I'm using my magical energy for other things right now. At any rate, she'll definitely pick up on it if I observe her. And as many a myth has shown, goddesses don't respond well to being peeked on. Isn't that right, Ishtar? Yeah, I'd kill them. I'd use my authority, my noble phantasm, everything I have, and blast wherever the peeper is to oblivion. See? Do you want to piss her off like that? I don't. And that's why I can't use clairvoyance to check out Quetzalcoatl. I see. I wish you told me that earlier you were restricting your clairvoyance. No wonder something seemed a bit off about you. Merlin, you had already done everything you could. I'm glad you understand. So, Romani Archimen, what is your proposal? Alright, I shall give you my opinion as Chaldi's operations commander. Currently, there is no way to intercept Quetzalcoatl. That said, we aren't in a condition to leave her alone. Which means we have to get proactive. We strike at Quetzalcoatl's home base. Originally, Quetzalcoatl was a goddess that had absolutely nothing to do with Summer. So, how is she demonstrating such heightened divinity and authority? It must be because a temple dedicated to her worship was built somewhere. The other day, when Bahamut went to investigate Ur, there are particularly strong magical energy response coming from the south. Even in a jungle full of mana, that response was so strong you knew it was special. That must be Erdu, the city that King Gilgamesh was talking about. If Quetzalcoatl is occupying that city, we can assume that she has created a temple in her name there. To establish a temple, you need a symbol that represents the deity. Quetzalcoatl is said to possess two treasures, the Jade Sword, Makana, and the Sun's Pilgrimage, Piedra del Sol. Oh, that's cool. Either of those would certainly work to establish her place of worship, so... Destroy the symbol, remove the temple's power, and diminish Quetzalcoatl's divinity. Exactly, Anna. After that, if we face Quetzalcoatl, there is at least a small chance of victory. And with Ishtar's help, we'd be more than a match for her. Oh, you're relying on me? I didn't want to fight other goddesses, but if it's... Bahamut's request, I have no other choice. Of course, if it was a certain useless king asking, I'd just have laughed myself silly and refused. <laughs> he totally sees through her. There's no way Ishtar can win this one. I guess it's settled then. Bahamut, I have a new mission for you. I authorize the second stage of our goddess extermination plan. Go through the jungle and head to Erdu. There, defeat Quetzalcoatl and also recover the divine tool stored in Erdu. Retrieve Marduk's axe, the weapon that killed the goddess Tiamat. Two days in e to reach Erdu, four days round trip. Hurry, as soon as you return, we'll start preparations for the battle with Gorgon. Hmm, that's cool. I didn't know they'd tell us uh, her noble phantasms. Days until Gorgon's arrival, six. So she's got a jade sword named Makana and the shield named Piedra del Sol. All I know is it translates to something of the sun. Or maybe the sun. I don't know what Piedre means. Uh, where is that floating over? The Ziggurat or Streets of Uruk? Ah, Streets of Uruk. Temple of the Sun. Uh, yeah, I've got at least enough for one more mission. Uh, a Lancer. Lancer beats Archer. And then there's a caster, or I mean an assassin, so I'm going to go with the caster. Umu X Oni. I like the sound of that. Section 12, Temple of the Sun. Ooh, fancy. Nice gate. Operation Defeat Quetzalcoatl begins now, Master. Let's head to Ur first. Oh, gatekeeper. Here's the seal from King Gilgamesh permitting our departure. Yes, thank you. Please have a safe trip. You're the gatekeeper that was on duty when we first came to Uruk. The south gate was attacked by Quetzalcoatl, but are you alright? 
Haha. <laughs> well, it's embarrassing to say, but I wasn't even taken as an opponent. Did you know that these past few days an unknown disease has been infecting people in Uruk? Yes, I hear the old and weak are the first to die. I had the same symptoms as them, didn't have an appetite for three whole days. So when that goddess saw my face, she said, Don't push yourself. Want a mango? Mango? You mean the fruit mango? I've heard of it. But it existed in this age? Yes, and it is. it was very tasty. Almost the instant I popped it in my mouth, I felt better. Thanks to that, I was able to resume my duties as a gatekeeper. Oh, that's nice of Quetzalcoatl. And you just ate it? <laughs> yes, I did. That's one of the reasons I came to be stationed here at the South Gate. Everyone's scared of this gate, you know. So, um, I'm not so sure that the goddess of the jungle is actually evil, really. I'm sure this is just bothersome to hear, but if you meet her and it looks like you can speak with her... Before you exchange blows, please try to talk to her. Maybe there's a way to solve this without fighting. Hmm. Duly noted, gatekeeper dude. That's what the gatekeeper was saying, but is it even possible to speak with Quetzalcoatl? It might be if I were just a little taller. <laughs> I'll go with that. If I were just a little taller. Taller? Senpai, you're really not that short. Fo, fo, fo. A talk with Quetzalcoatl, eh? It's true that there may be a way to avoid battle. She said she would eradicate humanity because her mother called her here to do so. Which means that she's not against mankind of her own free will. Though that does raise the question of who this mother is. If she says mother, then wouldn't it be goddess of demonic beasts Tiamat? Well, if you think about it, that does make sense. How about it, Ishtar? Did Gorgon order you to, to exterminate mankind? Huh? I couldn't care less about the Three Goddess Alliance. Quetzalcoatl is a winged serpent, right? Maybe she's just helping out Gorgon because they're both snakes. Ishtar isn't interested in the Three Goddess Alliance? No, wait. This odd feeling. Could it be? Ha 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 ha! Meow ha 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 ha! I mew you'd come back to my jungle, my prey. If Cuckoo returned to the jungle, then you guys wouldn't be far behind. That is common sense. And ant pushing prey on the flank is the jaguar's hunting style. Meow, it's time to snack up. Snack, pup. Senpai, it's jaguar warrior. Here she comes down from the trees, as always. Ah, uh, your stealth abilities are to be expected in the jungle. With all the magical energy surrounding us, I couldn't detect you at all. However, Quetzalcoatl is still the principal deity in Mesoamerica culture. No matter how much power Gorgon gained from the Holy Grail, Quetzalcoatl wouldn't serve her without cause. Just like the gatekeeper said, she probably has a reason. Leaving this mother problem aside, it's a good idea to try to talk to her. Yes, talk. Conversation is the best expression of human sincerity and kindness, Bahamut. Mm or mm. Hmm. Jeez, that's not convincing at all. Don't you see that right now there's a teary-eyed goddess being ignored in front of you? No, after witnessing Quetzalcoatl's divinity, you seem like no more than a paper tiger. And you're dead. I'll put an end to this thousand-year war between light and darkness. You humans have no tomorrow. Why? Because it's only natural that the weak perish. There's no good or evil in that. If you want to live, be strong. Meow, that's the paw of the jungle. Jaguar Warrior is now in battle mode, and what she's saying actually makes sense. <laughs> it's too late to notice. Meow. I'm not taking it easy, baby. It's pur... What? It's... Pervival... Oh, I get it now. It's pervival of the fittest here, and you're not looking too fit. Okay, more Jaguar Warriors, and they're relatively strong, actually. Mmm... Go with that. Uh, eh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Raikos did though. Although I do remember Merlin doesn't exactly have a very damn. What kind of shield does he have on? Oh, it's the Melty Sweetheart. Apply 100% special male defense, male, three times, and increase C star drop rate by 10% for yourself. Nice. So apparently these Jaguar Warriors count as male. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Increase the NP even more. Good, good. Although I probably should have done Raiko, Merlin, Raiko. Oh well. 
And Nero can easily take out the, the Lancer by herself. Seen as type advantage and being level 100. Oh yeah, she has attacks to spare. Good. I've still been keeping with my... Uh, I guess you could call it a um, New Year's resolution of watching more anime and actually finishing stuff that I've been watching. And I guess finishing games. Uh, currently I'm finishing the Kingdom Hearts games, because I want to do a Kingdom Hearts week. Um, which, that's going slowly, because those games are long and I work besides YouTube, because I don't make anything from YouTube. Uh, so, yeah. I don't have every single moment of the day to finish a Kingdom Hearts, but I'm trying. It's rough going. Sometimes. Just because the games are long or sometimes they're hard. But anyway, I'm uh, working on catching up to Black Clover, where they're currently stopped at, I guess. Or, uh, ooh, that was close. Apply Invincible, increase C star drop rate for all eyes, decrease critical roll for all enemies. Eh, I guess. Raikou's gonna generate a lot of C stars. Uh, increase buster effect on this max HP and critical strength for one ally. Giving that to Raikou. Ooh, and there's a blue Raikou, so I can easily get her to 200%. Uh, let's see. Or I could... S no, I can't save it. I've already used all the abilities. Oh well. I was gonna say I could easily use Merlin. Restore HP, increase MP gauge, C stars... Oh, okay. Uh, so let's see... If I do... That, that, and that, it should give her enough to hit 200%. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm watching Black Clover episode 38 now. Started it maybe a week or two ago. So far, I like it. Uh, it was kind of annoying at first because the main character is constantly screaming. But, uh, once you get past that, it's a good anime. Although, I'm noticing a lot of similarities to, like older animes, or previous animes. Uh, since I know it more, I'm noticing a lot more similarities to, like, Bleach. I won't go into specifics, because it'd be spoilerish, but, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of similarities to, like, Bleach and whatnot. Uh... Damn, he's got a Vade on. She's got a Vade on. I just now know she's wearing tennis shoes. But, uh, yeah. I like Black Clover. It's pretty cool. Oh, it was a temporary evade. Oh, she applied it again. Raikou's probably gonna die soon. Uh, let's see. Right, I gotta hold it. Reduce attack damage taken to zero, two left. Hmm. So, what, she takes two hits and then it goes away? Let's test that knowledge. Yep. Okay, so it takes two hits and then it goes away. And now she doesn't have it equipped. So I will... Do... Uh, I'll put that on just in case. She for some reason gets an MP charge. Ooh. That, that, and that. Yeah, that'll do. Raikou might get another NP. Granted, Jaguar War is almost dead. Anyway, back to Black Clover. It is funny, too. It has a lot of the stereotypical tropes and cliches of most Shonen Jump animes, but it's good. I like it. I would recommend it. Get pa Just try to look past the... Uh, screaming of the main character and it's good plus the animation is I don't know why I slowed down there the animation's very good in some of the fight scenes reminds me a lot of uh, Naruto's animation style and some of their fight scenes Naruto Shippuden 
I remember more of the animations from that than I remember from the original Naruto. 91,000, damn. She's dead, for sure. Cause she only had 43,000. Ah, uh, she had a plus attack on, okay. Okay, loading. Uh, Nero's so close, hurry up. Once I, uh, once I bond max n regular Nero, I'm gonna sub her out for uh, Nero Bride and start working on her, even though Nero Bride doesn't have her NP power up just yet. Ah, we're in Ur. Uh, it's been a little over 30 minutes, so I will call the episode here. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next episode.